Carla Vassell, if you haven't practiced with me before, uh, today's going to be a pretty fun vinyasa style flow with those longer like hatha style shapes where we get in there and just hold them for a few breaths because I really like those long holds. I feel like that's where you get to melt into the shapes and that's what my teachers taught me and I absolutely fell in love with that type of practice but I do like the vinyasa flow to add in the extra spice and heat in the body if you're needing that but you obviously don't have to do that. So for starters come onto your backs if you feel comfortable with that. I recommend having a block nearby if you don't have a block maybe a pillow or if you don't have that that's okay you don't need it it's just options and start to close your eyes for a little bit. We're gonna start just like we do in my other classes if you've watched them or taken them um, with I like to read to you guys. So I'm gonna read again from the same poetry collection by Mary Oliver called Devotions. I absolutely love it. And maybe next week we'll, we'll do it from a different poetry book, but this week I just fell in love with this one and I've been sharing it in all of my classes. It's about the morning, so if it's not morning time for you, that's okay. It's also not morning time for me, but I still really love it. So get comfortable, close your eyes, settle into your body, and like always, you can tune me in or tune me out. Here we go. Why I Wake Early by Mary Oliver. Hello, sun in my face. Hello, you who make the morning and spread it over the fields and into the faces of the tulips and the nodding morning glories and into the windows of even the miserable and the crotchety. Best preacher that ever was, dear star, that just happens to be where you are in the universe to keep us from ever darkness, to ease us with warming touch to hold us in the great hands of light. Good morning, good morning, good morning. Watch now how I start the day in happiness and kindness. So regardless, like I said, if it's morning or not morning where you're at, maybe keeping that in mind that you can start wherever you're at with kindness and just you know, finding that bit of light in whatever day you're having today. So in your practice today, where can you find that? Kindness for yourself, kindness for your body, kindness for your practice and your mind and your heart, and also a lot of that light, that, like, that really, really good feeling, that love. Okay, so here we go. Starting on your backs, if you're not there, coming there. And plant your feet, bring your knees up, feet as wide as your mat, knees come together, and start to make these like crab claws with your, with your hands. And bring them to right above where your hips are, so where your waist is at. Give a little squeeze there, and then inhale, take a deep breath, and feel your belly press into your palms. Open your mouth, let it go. Inhale, filling up. Exhale, let it go. Breathing in. Breathing out. And now try to expand the sides of your belly into your hands. So instead of just going up and down with expansion, now we're going sideways. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale this time, noticing your upper back pressing into the mat. Exhale. Start to seal your lips, breathing in through the nose, out through the nose, finding your ujjayi pranayama. Inhale. Gentle constriction of the back of the throat, exhale through the nose. One more. Let it go. And start to rub the palms. Make a little feet. Rub, 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 rub. 
and then gently place them over your eyes, opening and closing, adjusting back to the light. And inhale, reach up. Exhale, wrap your hands behind the backs of your thighs, start to rock forward and back. We're going to come all the way up into a kneeling shape, and this is where it's really handy if you have a block. You can place it so it's all the way on the shortest side, in between the legs, and just come to sit. If you don't have a block, like I said, a pillow can work, a stack of books, or you don't need them, you can just come to kneeling. Bringing your hands to your thighs, Inhale, lift the heart, lift the chest. Exhale, round. So just taking some movement here between cat and cows. Inhale, lifting, find that cow. Exhale, round. Inhale, lifting, draw the elbows close together at the back. And round. Chin into chest. Inhale, lifting. Exhale, round. Now you're gonna feel kind of ridiculous, but try it with me, okay? You're not alone on this, I promise. We're gonna go faster, okay? So breath to movement, inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. Keep going. One more, inhale, exhale. Ooh, and then make some big circles here. Just really finding some fluidity in the spine, little dance-like movements, and then go the opposite direction. Bending into the elbows, just transferring your weight and your energy. Good, inhale, reach hands up. Interlace your thumbs here. Pull your head through your arms like a little window, and then pull the navel back. Hold. Roll the shoulders up and then roll them down. Stay holding, just waking the shoulders up and the arms up. Release the thumbs and then take the opposite thumb behind, interlace, same thing. Lift chin, fill the belly, soften the face. Mm. Release your hands, move your block or whatever you have here. We're going to find our tabletop. Inhale, lift the heart, lift the chest. Exhale, round. Inhale, lift, come up onto fingertips. Draw shoulders away from ears. Exhale, round. And we're going to get right into it. Find your downward facing dog, taking it for a little walk here. Bending into the knees, swiveling the hips. And just waking the body up. Good. Inhale, come forward, find that high plank. Dome the upper back. Tuck the tailbone. Rock onto the toes. And then we're going to drop down knees. Chest and chin, ashtanga namaskara. You have eight points on the mat. Slither forward, find your baby cobra. Bhujangasana. Inhale, lift the heart, lift the chest. Squeeze elbows together. Exhale, roll around. Crawl your fingers off the mat, elbows up, inhale, lift, exhale, lower, inhale, lift, exhale, lower, and one more time, inhale, lift, squeeze the glutes, exhale, lower, hands come in between chest and hips, bringing out your torso, inhale, tabletop, Exhale, downward facing dog. Three breaths here. Finding space between the shoulders and the ears. Spread your palms, big breath in. Let it go. Breathing in. Let it go. Breathing in. Let it go. Inhale, gaze forward, come up onto your tippy toes. Take a hop or a step, step to the front of your mat. Halfway lift, fingertips to shins. Draw the shoulders away from the ears. Pull the navel up, flat back. Exhale, fold. Inhale, rise up, reach up. 
Exhale, you're going to catch opposite elbows here. And start to lean to the right. But then take your gaze up to the left, finding a nice side body stretch. And then come back through center, lean to your left. Take your gaze up to the right. And one more each with side to the right, gaze goes up to the left. And switch. Gaze goes up to the right, lean to the left. And release, shake out the shoulders, very nice. Ooh, it gets a little spicy in the shoulders, huh? Inhale, reach up. Exhale, fold. Halfway lift. Plant your palms, step back down for facing dog. Inhale, come forward, high plank. Your choice, knees, chest, chin, chaturanga, or just press back down dog, maybe take a child's pose. Your choice, a little flow. Inhale, lift heart. Exhale, lift hips. Three breaths. Let it go. Breathing in, breathing out, breathing in, breathing out, gaze forward, step or hop to the front of your mat, forward fold, halfway lift, exhale fold, inhale rise up, reach up, and this time we're going to come all the way back down, forward fold, halfway lift. Plant your palms, step back down dog. Sweeping your right leg up, flex your toes, hips are square. You do a little tuck of that right glute, right tailbone. Actually, there's only one tailbone. <laughs> you don't have an extra right one. So a tuck of that right glute. And then we're going to step the right foot all the way in between your hands, nice and slow. Gently lower back knee down. Keep your toes curled for today. Inhale, reach up, find your low lunge. Anjane Asana. Good. From here, we're going to have a little fun. Ready? So you're going to flip your palms to face forward. And I want you like you're pulling like a lap pull down or you're pulling something down. And you're gonna squeeze the shoulder blades together like you're trying to show me your muscles. Think of like little kids here, you know, they're like flexing their muscles at you and they're super proud of them. So do that. As you do that, press your hips forward. Inhale, up. Exhale, sink down. Squeeze. Inhale. Exhale. Two more times. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale, lap, pull down, squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. Cartwheel hands down and find your half splits here. If you have your blocks, you can use them. Whatever works for you. But notice your spine here. This rather than rounding, we want a nice flat back. Drawing the shoulders away from your ears, flexing the right toes. Breathing here. Feel the body nice and warm. From here, you're going to plant your fingertips. Step right foot back to meet left foot. Keep toes curled. Inhale, reach up to kneeling. Exhale, hands come to your lower back. Like you're going to slide your palms into your back pockets. Take a baby camera. Lift the heart, lift the chest. Inhale, reach back up. Exhale, plant your palms. You're going to take your right arm, send it up to the ceiling, and then thread the needle coming onto your right shoulder, right cheek. And we are going to do this again. So for now, we'll take it a little slower, and then we'll speed it up the next round. Right now, just, you know, learning what we're doing, getting comfortable. And then sending left leg out to the side, planting left foot, toes pointed forward. And we're going to slowly rise up. From here, crawl your left fingertips down that left leg. Good. Taking your right hand up and over. 
and draw right shoulder back behind you a little bit so you're opening up your chest and your heart here. Inhale, reach back up. Exhale, plant your palms. As you do that, you're gonna sweep your left leg up behind you, point your toes. Exhale, draw it in knee to nose, and then three-legged dog, and then watch this beautiful magic. Ready? We're gonna step left foot in between our hands, nice and slow, remember, control that movement. I did a terrible job at doing that right now. <laughs> Keep back toes curled, and then we're gonna find that low lunge again. Magic, we're on the other side. <laughs> From here, palms face forward. We're gonna do those five lat pull downs. So start with the pull down. Inhale, lift. Exhale, squeeze. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. I lost count. Let's do one more. Inhale. Exhale. Hold, hold, hold. Cardinal hands down. Go ahead, find that half splits. If you use the block on the other side, grab your block or blocks. And we find that nice flat back rather than the rounding. Almost like you're gonna press your chest to whatever is in front of you. So you're really finding this nice space between the shoulder and the ears. Flex those left toes. Pull your navel up and pull that left hip back in the space. Nice, everyone. I know these longer holds, they're hard, but they're wonderful. Okay, moving your blocks out of the way, fingertips plant, step back to that kneeling shape. Inhale, reach up, find being our full kneeling. Hands come to the lower back, find that baby camel, lift the heart, lift the chest, squeeze elbows close together. Inhale, reach back up. Exhale, find your tabletop. Left arm is going to sweep up and down. Exhale, come into left shoulder, left cheek. And I know my foot is going to come off. It's not going to be in the, in the camera right now, but that's okay. We're, we're getting used to the frame of the camera here together. So from here, you're going to send your right foot out, plant the foot. Oh, what? I got it into the camera field, the frame, finally. <laughs> Inhale, reach up. Exhale, crawl your right fingertips down that right leg. Left arm sweeps up and over. And then same thing as on the other side. Draw the left elbow back a little bit so you're opening up your chest to the ceiling. Nice, beautiful heart opener. Inhale, up. Exhale, hands come down. As you do that, you're going to sweep that right foot up. Draw it in, knee to nose. Inhale, three-legged dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Your choice here, child's pose or take a flow. Anything of your choice. Just finding your breath. That's all that matters and making sure it feels good for you today. We'll meet back and downward facing dog. Take your time. Big breath in. Long breath out. So we're gonna do that exact same flow, but a little faster now. And then we're gonna move into our other flow of the day. Right leg lifts, stepping in between your hands, rise up, find that low lunge, Anjani Asana. We're just gonna do three lap pull downs now instead of five. So start with the pull down, inhale, exhale, inhale, Exhale, hold. Half splits are Hanumanasana. Just passing through, finding your kneeling. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, baby camel. Inhale, up. Exhale, tabletop. Sweeping right arm up, thread the needle to come onto your right cheek, right shoulder. Sitting left leg out, plant the foot. Inhale, rise up. Exhale, crawl left fingertips down. See, my left foot ends up off. Sorry. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, plant the palms. Sweep left leg up. 
knee to nose. Inhale, three-legged dog, and now we're gonna be that magical switcher on the other side. Step left foot in between your hands, lower back knee. Inhale, reach up, low lunge, Anjaneyasana. Starting with that pull down. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. Remember, just three, inhale, exhale. Cartwheel hands down, find your half splits. And then step into your kneeling, inhale, reach up. Exhale, baby camel. Inhale, up. Exhale, tabletop. Left arm sweeps up, right knee up. Send your right leg out, plant the foot. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, curl your right fingertips down. Side bend, inhale, up. Exhale, find that plant the palms, sweep right leg up, bend the hips. Exhale, knee to nose. Inhale, three-legged dog. Exhale, downward facing dog, option for a flow or take a child's pose. Back and downward facing dog, take your time. When you get to downward facing dog, take a big breath in through the nose. Let it go. One more inhale. Exhale. So from here, sweeping that right leg up, point your toes. Exhale, step it in between your hands, but this time come up onto fingertips. Keep back knee lifted and back heel lifted. Rise up to your crescent lunge. Okay, we're gonna do the same thing now with those lat pull downs, but with our back knee lifted. So start with the pull down. Inhale, exhale. Nice and controlled, inhale. Exhale, we're just gonna do three, one more. And squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. Show me those muscles. Warrior two. Good. Widen your stance. Make sure that front knee is going towards the pinky toe. Press into the back edge of that back foot. Good. Sink a little deeper. Inhale, reach forward. Exhale, reverse your warrior. So keep your legs the same. Inhale, reach forward, exhale, side angle. Maybe take your gaze up to that top hand. Melt into the shape, keep pressing into both feet equally, distributing the weight equally. Find that breath. Inhale, we're gonna rise up to a five-pointed star, toes out. Bring one hand to your belly, one hand to your lower back, and I'm going to show you from the side. Do a little tuck. So rather than an arch or this thing, find a nice little tuck. And I think having that connection with the hands is super helpful. And from here, find your goddess shape. Keep that same little tuck. Hands come to the back of the head. Press the elbows back, sink a little deeper. Breathe. Hold, 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 sink a little deeper. If you need to sway, sway your head. Breathe, strong legs, strong breath. I'm here with you, I'm sweating with you. Stretching arms and legs, straightening them out. Warrior two to the back of your mat. Set up your poles, roll the shoulders up and roll them back. Okay, this time, inhale, reach forward. Instead of reversing your warrior, you're gonna reverse your triangle. So straighten that front leg. Exhale, triangle pose. I'm gonna butt my back leg up a little bit and then find your triangle pose. And you have your block. Get your block. Use it. Wherever you're at, Think of pressing that top hip back, bottom hip forward. Good. 
Davies goes up to that top here. Okay. We're going to be moving towards half moon. So if you need your block, grab it now and bring it into the left hand. If not, just start to bend into that left knee. Maybe planting left fingertips forward and off to the side a little. Or if you want to work with hovering, you can do that. I'm going to plant mine because I'm talking. And then that back leg is going to lift. Top hand can stay at the hip or reach up. Ardha Chandrasana, half moon. Maybe take your gaze to your lifted right toes. Ooh, it really is challenging in the balance. From here, bring your right hand down, find your standing L. Flex your lifted right toes, and then just lift your chest, lift your gaze. From here, as slow as possible, listen carefully. You're going to step this right foot in front and to the side of the left foot. And I'm going to show you from the front what it looks like. Good. From here, crawl your hands over to the right. Just getting an IT band stretch. Breathing. And then we're going to have fun, maybe. All yoga teachers, I think, love to do this at least once in their class. <laughs> it's been years since I've done this, well, since I've taught it anyways, let's play with it. Walk your fingertips to the left, keep going left, 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 all the way until you're facing the front of the mat, or the end up, you're in a forward fold. Inhale, rise all the way up, reach up. Bring your right knee up to your chest, flex your toes. Interlace your palms or your fingers and bring them to the top of that right thigh. Press your palms down as you press your thigh up. Hold here. Spread your left toes. Strong core. Find that balance. You need a drishti though, that focus point. Something in front of you that isn't moving, that you're like making love to with your eyes. Staying for one more full breath in. Stay for the exhale. And stand onto your leg, shake it out. Woo. Okay, we have another side. We got this. And then big breath in. Exhale, fold. Crawl back out, find your downward facing dog. Option here for a flow. And if you're looking at me, I just switched sides because I am going to be doing my left side. So don't switch which way you're facing. Still keep facing the front of the mat. Okay, so here you have the option for your flow or hang out in down dog or take a child's pose. Find that breath though if you lost it. Exhale, loop back in downward facing dog. Here we go. Left leg lifts. And super controlled movement. We're going to step it all the way in between our hands. Engaging that back leg, lift the back heel. Back knee is lifted. Start to hover your fingertips before sweeping up, finding a crescent lunge. Good. From here, we're going to come right into that lap pull down. There were three of them. Inhale, reaching up, straight in front leg. Exhale, bend. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale, hold, 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 hold. And warrior two. Beautiful, everyone. Big breath in. Exhale, settle into the shape. Engage that back leg. Remember, front knee is going towards pinky toe. So it's pressing back rather than caving in. Inhale, reach forward. Exhale, reverse your warrior. Keep the legs the same. Nice bend in that front knee. And side angle. Maybe take your gaze up to that right palm as you draw the right shoulder back. Sometimes it's fun too to do mudras with your fingers. We'll have to get into that soon in some of my classes, I promise. Future, tune in for that. That'll be fun. From here, you're gonna rise up to a five-pointed star. Toes out. 
And just like we did on the other side, bring one hand to your belly, one hand to your back, and I'll show you from the side view. So remember, instead of arching or doing this weird tuck, like thrust kind of thing, just find this nice flat back. So baby tuck of the tailbone. Come back, five-pointed star, sink into your goddess. Feel that little tuck here. Lift the chest up, hands come to the back of the head, sink a little deeper, and just find a sway or hold. I like to sway. Especially if you have music going on, you can get a little dancey with it. That's my favorite. Good. So strong, everyone. Whew. Inhale, straighten arms, straighten legs. Exhale, warrior two, to the front of your mat. Actually, for you, it'll be to the back of your mat. My apologies. Remember, I switched around because I'm on my left side now. That way we could still be making eye contact and facing each other and you wouldn't have my back. Inhale, we're gonna reach forward. Exhale, straighten your front leg, take a reverse triangle. Exhale, triangle pose. I'm gonna do what I did on the other side and button my back leg up just a little bit. If you use your block, get your block. Hand can come to the shin, the earth block, or can hover here too. And then remember, we're gonna be working towards half moon now. So if you need a block or you'd like to try it out with one, just put it in the right hand. And I'll show it with a block on this side. I, just, I didn't do it on the other side. I'm just gonna bend into my front knee, start to lean forward, and my block is gonna land a little to the right and forward of my front foot. Left hand comes to your hip. Flex your lifted toes, and then maybe reach that left arm up. I'm a little wobbly today. Good. Maybe take your gaze to your left toes, to those lifted toes. Just kind of playing with balance. And then from here, we're going to find our standing. Ellis, if you feel like you're going to fall anyways, you can play as long as you like there, but if you're ready, find that standing up. And you can use your block. I'll show the block with standing L. And there's different sides, of course. Good. Press your chest forward. Draw the shoulders back. Super slow, you're going to step this lifted foot to the front and to the right of the front foot. I'll show from the front view. And you can have your feet close together, or they can be further. This depends on your body and what feels good. From here, start to walk your hands to the left, finding an IT band stretch on the opposite side. Release the neck and head. And then just like we did on the other side, start to crawl your hands all the way to the right, to the right, to the right, to the right, to the right. And then you're gonna end up in a forward fold. Magic. Inhale, rise all the way up, reach up. Pull left knee up into your chest. Bring interlace fingers and press your palms into the top thigh. As you're pressing your thigh up, palms press down. And try to lift your toes up towards your knee rather than like them sickling out or doing some funky other stuff. Lift the chest. Feel the strength in that standing leg. Spread your toes. Relax the face. You are here. You made it. <laughs> I'm so happy you're here with me too. <laughs> One more breath. Inhale. Stay for the exhale. <sighs> One more inhale. Exhale. Stand on two legs. Give them a little shake. Good. And then inhale. We're going to reach up. Exhale, crawl back out, find your downward facing dog. And this will be our last thing before we come onto our back to cool down. So bring your feet together at the back of your mat. Start to crawl your hands back as you come into a toe stand with your knees out. And I'll show you from the front. I know I am wearing a dress, but it's an exercise dress, so there are shorts underneath, I promise. 
it's actually pretty great if you are a person who likes a lot of freedom and not like the tight constricting clothing totally recommend an exercise dress first time ever trying it out i'm in love so you're in like this toe stand malasana-esque shape cool if it hurts a lot come onto a block let the block do the work for you wherever you're at maybe stay here start to crawl forward just find a little forward fold or maybe you try to wrap your hands around and i didn't have us grab a strap but if you have one i want to quickly pause and grab it you can grab a strap and interlace it behind you the arms are coming underneath the legs like my fingers do not reach each other even with my monkey arms but it still feels good then from here you're going to plant your forearms down I like to bring my thumbs to touch, but my elbows are as wide as my shoulders are, or a little less. And then I'm going to bring my knees up into my armpits. I'm going to lean forward and find a baby crow. And hold, 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 let's hold it. <laughs> Press into the palms, hug the feet towards your bum. We got this. And gently let it go. Nice. Come all the way down to your seat. Give the legs a little shake. Nice. And then cross your ankles, plant your palms, step back to your down dog. And high plank. Slow lower or nice fast belly flop. Come all the way down. And then rolling onto your back. Hug your legs into your chest. <sighs> Taking some longer, deeper breaths. Feeling the sweetness of the warmth that we just built in our bodies together. It's fun, right? <laughs> I think it's fun. From here, take a happy baby, or I'm going to take just legs up. And for me, I'm gonna slide a block underneath my lower back because it feels really nice. But if you don't have that, that is okay. Just take whatever feels good. Anything with your feet above your heart. And if you wanna play with headstand, handstand, forearm stand, whatever is part of your practice, I encourage you to do that and stay as long as you'd like because we'll just be here briefly but like I said, you can pause the video or end it now and play around. I love these poses though with our feet above our heart because they're just so good for anxiety, for calming the body, calming the mind, reconnecting with that heart space. And able to find those deep breaths. Let's take three together. Inhale through the nose. Open your mouth, let it go. Breathing in. Breathing out. One more. And let it go. And gently planting the feet. If you took any other shape like a headstand or handstand, forearm stand, <laughs> take a child's pose before coming back onto your back. So everyone else come back onto your back. I'm going to take some spinal twists here before I leave you in your most beautiful shape, Shavasana. So from here, arms come out. I'm in the desert, so they come out to cacti arms. Hug the knees into your chest, and then we're just going to drop them to the left. Shift your head to the right. You can close the eyes if that feels good, or if you have lights on and you want to turn them down, or place anything over the eyelids. It can really help to come into that restful, relaxing state. <laughs> Sometimes words are hard. And just feel the toes relax, feel the fingers soften, and the belly soften. We were doing all that core tightening and engaging shapes, and now we're just going to let it hang. 
switch sides, draw the knees into the chest and just drop them to the right. Shift your head to the left. And if it doesn't feel good to shift your head, you can always just keep the gaze up towards the ceiling and the neck and head is just neutral. And see where else in the body can you soften? Maybe the thighs and the ankles, the back of the neck, the side of the neck. And just visualizing that breath coming into the body. Maybe it's a really pretty color, or maybe it's lots of colors. And as it exits your body, maybe it changes colors. And then gently come back onto your backs. Give yourself a big hug here. Squeeze everything in, big, big breath. Exhale, let it go. So moving into your final resting shape, palms can come by your side. If you want to take Shavasana on your side or on your belly, you're more than welcome to. Just whatever really provides a sense of comfort and ease and relaxation where you can be for a while. And I always recommend if your mind is just going all over the place because we're human, so it will, instead of getting upset about it or trying to control it. Instead, just tell yourself, I am breathing in. I am breathing out. I am breathing in. I am breathing out. And you can even play with it as a mantra, like I am breathing in love. I am breathing out shame. I am breathing in light. I am breathing out darkness. And those are just examples. They're cheesy. I warn you all. I'm the cheese ball. But whatever works. I am breathing in. I am breathing out. So I'm going to leave you here. Stay as long as you'd like. I would highly recommend five to ten minutes or whatever feels good for your practice and adding in whatever else that you need to feel like you had a very fulfilling yoga practice today. Thank you so much for showing up and I'm excited to continue sharing more videos with you. I love building a community with you all and I'm so grateful for you being a part of this. Thank you. Mm, namaste.